today is our day today we are reading how to own the room by viv gross cop this book is roses 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 it was so fun really listening to this book on script and this book is actually not as it's not as new as I thought it was. It was written in 2018 and for some reason, I never heard of it until I heard of it and I saw it on script. I was like, okay, I'm getting this. <laughs> okay, so if this is your first time, welcome to Nest Telly. I am Nez. Thank you so much for coming by. We are all about books. We are reading books, studying them, deciding whether we should read them or not. And in this community, we are looking for ways to share ideas. So in the comment section, let me know how you heard about this channel. What brought you here? And what do you think about this video? Subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like so that more people can get to know about this book. And thank you so much for coming. If this is not your first time, how you doing <laughs> okay so ladies this book is actually geared to women because it's written women and the act of brilliant speaking now if you're someone most of us are so if you're someone that struggles with reading with speaking or have always wondered um why you are not in a hurry to stand up to speak this book is actually for you it comes with a lot of encouragement and then it gives you a list of people that you can listen to their own speeches and you'll be inspired by i'm talking about michelle obama oprah winfrey um and our very own chimamanda ngozi <laughs> adiche <laughs> i don't know why that excites me so much see me blushing anyway um so chimamanda um, what's her name? Joan Rivers. So a lot of people um, that have given great speeches and different in different formats, you know, people that can inspire you. But I just want to talk about like four or five things that have lived in my head since I finished this book. I finished this book 30 minutes before I stay making this video. So a lot of a lot of points are still doing in my head, and it is so good. Okay, so let us begin. Number one, learning to be your best and honest authentic self now even though you're going to spend time studying amazing people and how wonderful they are in uh, speaking you are not trying to be like them you are trying to learn the thing about them that you like so that you can emulate and learn to yourself more often than not what we like about people are things that we actually have you tend to like a loud person if you're a loud person you tend to like a quiet person if you're a quiet person someone that talks fast tends to like someone that's a fast talker do you understand so that's how it works so most times if you study a lot of speakers or a lot of speeches the things that you like are things that are more geared towards you so the first thing is that you need to learn to be your best and honest authentic self do not try to be like anyone else okay now that is the number one that's where we should start the base is that we're not trying to be like someone else we're trying to be like ourselves the best most honest versions of ourselves number two nobody cares that much about how you feel as much as you think they do more often than not when it comes to speaking we are worried about what people think about us and our speech but look at it this way first of all she explained that that's actually a form of narcissism okay now the issue is that more often than not the people that you're speaking to have come with their own problems and they're not thinking of you to solve them now if you're someone that likes to talk about food and its benefits someone may come there having come from a hospital with a bad news or with a kid who didn't do well in school and that is on their mind so what that means is that at that moment they have problems that you cannot solve and it doesn't matter what you want to do is make your speech put impact what you want to impact into them make yourself memorable and then walk away now they are not thinking that much about you where you sit down and make several excuses about why you're nervous and why you're going through what you're going through all that it doesn't matter to them they're not thinking that much as a matter of fact we live in a time now where your ability to admit that you're nervous and not dwell in it is actually appreciated because that makes you human it makes you achievable and relatable you're not this person that people just don't want to 
They just think that you're too stiff or you're too much of a statue, that people don't want to listen to you. So that is number two. Number three, practice, practice, and practice some more. If there's anything you're going to take into 2023, it is the importance of practice. Everything that you're going to be good at is in practice. You're going to practice the hell out of everything. Okay, what that means is that if you want to wake up one day and your goal is to speak about something that is important to you, um, poverty issues in Nigeria, and you want to speak about it in a big stage in the world, in the UN or in a TED talk about it, you're going to start practicing now with your friends, with your family in the office. Practice not talking about that thing. Talk about every other thing that they're interested in. You get. Find out what that is and then begin to talk. If in, in the office there's a, a, an opportunity to speak, don't shy away. Don't be like, ah, let this person do that. No. Try to get up and do it. Be willing to suck at it. Be willing to suck at it. Be willing. How many times have I said it? I'm pulling the ear now. Be willing to suck at it. The way we practice is that if you believe that you have to be perfect in it, then it's not practice. That means you're perfect. Now, she made an example which was amazing. Chimamanda's first speech, which was the danger of a single story, was, was, was given over 10 years ago. Then her other popular speech, which was on TED, called We Should All Be Feminist, was done about four or five years ago. Now, if you can listen to both speeches, they are all available on YouTube. Listen to both speeches and then compare and contrast it is the same chimamanda they are both beautifully written but you can tell that she has been able to hone in a form of um skill that made one speech to sound better than the other but the beautiful thing is that just like i said in the number one is that she's still speaking like herself she's not trying to sound like michelle obama she's not trying to sound like oprah winfrey who was also mentioned in this book so um, practice and practice until you get better at it. Do you understand? And even when you get better or you believe they're in the best, excellent self, continue to practice until you get better. That is number three. Fourth and definitely not the last is your nerves are normal. It is not abnormal. Now, if you're someone that has some extreme um, reaction to speaking, some people want to throw up or some people actually throw up, some people start to cry, some people start to scream. You need to find other solutions. That might include things like therapy or talking to a voice coach, a professional voice coach. This woman is actually a voice coach. But unless you're in the US and you can have access to her, you will not. Um, you will not be able to get her. But go online, find out what can be said about voice coaching. If you cannot afford someone that you can, as in someone that you can actually talk to, that can talk to you privately, go online. I'm sure on YouTube there are videos that talk about speaking and what you can do about it. But please, your strength is in your practice. Okay? Now, if you do not have those extreme effects, understand that your nerves are normal. It is normal for you to want to talk. Uh, when you want to talk to people, you're nervous about the way they will react and all that. So, but just learn that it is normal and you can just admit it, create it, say a funny joke about it. You don't have to make, people don't have to laugh, just say something about it and then just let it pass and work with the nerves. Most of the big speech, people that have given speeches and the authors and the main, a lot of people that you know struggle with speech a struggle with nerves when they are giving out their speeches so names that were mentioned here i've already mentioned michelle obama oprah winfrey um the author of harry potter at the moment i've forgotten her name which really messed up our very own chimamanda ngozi adiche um hillary clinton you know so it's a book about women for women it's written by a woman Interesting for women because women are usually in a hurry to reduce their themselves when it comes to speaking. They tend to be like, Oh, why should I do it? Let somebody else do it. But you know, at least I think women of a certain age, but I feel like younger women right now are willing to speak more. Like the importance of their voice is so important, which is good. But people like us that still struggle with a lot of inner turmoil when it comes to speaking books like this is important to you and one of the best things i liked about this book is that at the end of every chapter there are exercises that that you can carry out that would help you now i just finished the book so i haven't started carrying out the exercises but i cannot wait to carry them out and i guess i'll mention what that's like 
So I wanted to have an exciting news. I found out that Gloria Brimer has a book called Emerge. All right, I'll put the book here so that you can see it. Gloria Brimer is an amazing Nigerian um, musician who I know has been through quite a bit. I don't know her well personally, but I know she's been through quite a bit. So it is curious. I hope that, you know, it's a book about me. It's an autobiography where she just writes about her inspirational, amazing stories. If you don't know who Gloria Brimer is, she sang a song with Natalia Basi that everyone that is Christian in Nigeria knows a version of it. His name is Yahweh. His name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. His name is Yahweh. So yes. She sang that song. So um, there are several other, she's, she's, she has like two albums and find her on YouTube, you would listen to her. But I also found out that the book is available on the Kobo app. Now, if you know Kobo, K-O-B-O, the app, you can check it out. I found it there, I was like, okay, so I'm going to dive into that right now. So once I'm done with this video, I'm diving into that. Once I'm done with some other things I have to do. Anyway, wishing you the best of the new year and thank you so much for watching. Um, have I already said you should subscribe? Please subscribe and thank you so much. Bye-bye now. Mm.